down here, my love. <laughs> ah. Evening, gents. What can I get you? Half pint, short? Nah. Come about the fight. Oh, right, yeah. Last night, eh? That Eubank. Cool, he's got a punch on him, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, no, I don't mean Eubank, do I? No, no, the other fella. Uh, one with a lisp. What's his name? Uh, Eubank. <laughs> the fight's in here tonight. <laughs> oh, right. I remember now. Yes, right. Yes, of course. Uh, right. So, uh, you gave me a tenner? No, no. Just get the ladder. <laughs> <on, will you? laughs> Leslie Norris, he's the one who called us. Leslie Norris? Oh, no, no, no. He's the old landlord. No, no. <laughs> no he's down in Chichester now. Oh, no. Tell a lie. No, it's me. Oh. Well, you just tell us what happened, Mr Norris. Uh, what happened was, uh, uh John Kate. No, it wasn't John. It was a Terry. Uh, Bob! Bob. <laughs> yeah, uh, Bob Kate. Uh, one of the regulars. Uh, he came in, uh, no, he's on his way out. Uh, come to think of it, he didn't come in at all, did he? No, no he hasn't been in for weeks, Bob. He's living in Australia now. Uh, uh, Canada, Canada. He's dead, dead. That's <laughs> very sad, very sad, yeah. I'll try and get him on the phone for you, if you like. Uh, who actually started the fight, Bob, Terry or John? Brian. <laughs> Brian. Where did the fight start? Right, in the games room. Where's the games room? Uh, just round the corner, you go past the gents, through the door, turn left, down the end of the road, over the traffic lights, take the A3327. <laughs> it's about half an hour door to door. <laughs> the games room. Oh, the games room. Oh, I do beg your pardon. I thought you said wantage. <laughs> <laughs> no, the games room. You want the B2217, is it? Uh, Could we just stick to the point? And what's that? The fight. Oh, right, yes. <laughs> God, silly me, eh? You know, sometimes I think I'll forget me own... Uh, me own... <laughs> no, it's gone. So why did John hit Brian in the first place? Ah, well, you see, it was all a uh, misunderstanding about his wife, you see, yeah. You see, I said to John, I said, uh, I see your wife's been having a little sex with Brian, only... <laughs> I didn't mean sex, did I? I meant chat. <laughs> I'm always getting those two the wrong way right, the, the round way wrong, the, the right way round, the wrong way round the roundabout, take third exit, the B2 turns one second, go straight through... Whoa there, Leslie, what are you going on about, boy? Oh, oh dear, right, <clears throat> start the game. You gave me a tenner. No, no. <laughs> so John thought Brian was having sex with his wife. <coughs> really? <laughs> oh, wait till I tell Brian. <laughs> I think Brian already knows he's ended up in hospital. <laughs> oh, well, you've got to laugh, haven't you? <laughs> laugh? Well, it's important to keep your sense of smell, humour. <laughs> look, perspective. Look, just tell me John's surname. John. Yes, John. John Smith? <coughs> John Smith. Certainly, officer, uh, constable sergeant, one point of John Smith coming up. Have you good lady wife? Sorry, father. <laughs> Look, I don't want a drink. Best way for the old Bill to go, eh? <laughs> Could you just give us a simple, straightforward description of John? He's a small chap. About six foot four, you know. He's got eight legs, uh, eats flies, lives in the corner, frightens the wife. Oh, no, no, that's a spider, isn't it? <laughs> uh, he's bald with long hair, clean-shaven, moustache, wearing a red, yellow, white, black, blue shirt, and uh, always carries a newspaper under his arm. Oh, no, I don't mean a newspaper, do I? No, that'd be ridiculous. No, a rabbit. <laughs> so, we are looking for a tall, short, bald... Airy man, with a red, yellow, blue, black, white shirt, with a rabbit under his arm. <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> good night, Mr Norris. Good night, Poirot. Uh, Inspector Morse, uh, Dixon, a doctor. <laughs> Dixon, a doctor. <laughs>